Hey guys, Bit Glenn here again. So second video in a day, so you lucky lot. <laughs> I don't know about that. My video my video earlier I felt a bit deflated about it actually. I felt like it wasn't good enough. I don't know why. I just I watched back on it and I thought oh it's, it went on too long and I don't know. But anyway, my name's Bit Glenn and I've been in cryptocurrency for about two months now. And obviously I'm learning as I go along. So I'm not trying to sell anything to anyone and I'm not trying to push anything onto anyone. I'm just talking about what I've discovered as I go along and sharing it with you guys. And hopefully we can build a community of people that are all looking to help each other out. Um, which actually is what inspired me to do this video right now. So I'll get onto that in a second. So since I've been in cryptocurrency one of my main goals was to mine Bitcoin because I see the value in it in the future not today um, and one of those revenues was to mine for Bitcoin using cloud mining um, Genesis mining was at the time for me too expensive and also sold out um, I also I bought some Monero and Ethereum mining which I haven't checked on recently actually um, but then that brought me on to Hashflare. And I've done several videos about Hashflare and how they work, their fees, how much I earn. And I've been really transparent and honest as much as I can be with you guys for the whole process. So something was eating away at me for the last, probably the last week I would say. And that's regarding their fees. Um, I've always... I think I calculated the fee at some point at being 14.5% um, for maintenance fees, which I've shared with you guys. And I believe people like uh, Crypto Nick and um, I can't remember who the other guy is, but some of the, uh, was his Captain Kip or something? Um, they share videos of their hash flare accounts as well. And they all put different percentages of what they calculated the fee to be um, some people saying it's 15 percent 18 percent 17 20 um, so this this got me thinking over the last few days because I've noticed the amount of Bitcoin um, that is taken as a fee has gone up so I thought what's going on here what's what's you know and I couldn't figure it out so I'm going to share with you guys now my thoughts um, and my findings uh, please let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm not a mathematician. I didn't particularly do well at maths in school, so um, I may have missed something out or I may have calculated something out wrong. So please call me out if you feel like I'm doing something wrong. So let's get into it and work out what these fees are. So I, the reason I just want to tell you quickly, the reason I've done this video today was because I posted a video earlier just explaining uh, you know, an update on my investments and that. And a gentleman called Anton, he messaged me and said, um, one of the things he said is, Glenn, do not you use Coin Wars um, for their calculator, which is the one that I always use. And it seems to be the one that all other YouTubers use on their channel. Uh, it has nothing to do with real numbers. Try something like my crypto buddy, uh, which takes into account. I messaged him back and I said, I've just checked out this calculator. It's amazing. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then he also called me out. And this is why I like people calling me out on my videos if they feel that I've said or done something wrong. Because if he never said this statement, I wouldn't have looked into this today. I do not agree hash flare payouts are getting much smaller with every difficulty update. Not to mention maintenance fee, which is now over 25%. So that got me thinking... How's he worked out the maintenance fees 25%? Because they declare what their maintenance fee is at the front page. And I went back to their front page to have a look. And it hasn't changed. It's never changed since I started investing in Hashflare. So I thought, has the fee gone up to 25%? And it really played on my mind. And I've been sitting there tonight and I, I, I actually went to bed. Um, but it was just playing on my mind over and over again. And I thought, if I don't get this out now... Um, I'll forget about it tomorrow and then I'll probably try and explain it and I'll miss saying cat or cock saying cat. So, Anton, you've caused me an, uh, a sleepless night tonight, so thank you for that. But he has got a good point. The maintenance fees uh, do seem like they've gone up. So I've gone over to my Hashflare account. Let's log in. So this is my Hashflare. I've gone to my history. We go down to um, 
you know what we're paying each day. So today or yesterday, sorry, or no, today I suppose technically, um, they paid me at half one in the morning. Um, they've paid me 0.0024283 of a Bitcoin. Yeah. So let's copy that. And I'm going to put this, this is a website that I found, it's just a percentage calculator. So rather than trusting my maths, because there's no way I'd be able to work out that uh, percentage, we're going to put that into this box here. So that's our Bitcoin 0 0.0024, that's what we earned today. But we're trying to figure out what the percentage is of the maintenance fee. So this is what they charged me, you can see here, SHA256 maintenance. They charge that literally straight after or the same time as when you get paid. So out of that 0 0.0024, they took out 0 0.0064. So it doesn't seem like a lot there, actually. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to put that into our percentage calculator. So this will give an honest opinion. Um, uh, calculation of what percentage I got charged yesterday or today if you like for my mining with hash flare so let's calculate that bearing in mind Anton said his fees are work out about 25% and I'm under the assumption that I'm paying about 14 to 15 percent in fees so let's calculate this 26 percent 26.65 now that seems very high um, it seems a lot higher than how I calculated it, um, you know, two months ago. So then I got thinking and I thought, well, maybe that's just a one-off. Let me try some others. So let's go back to, let's go to this one here because the amount I received on the day is slightly higher, actually. So you can see here I received 2.4, whereas if we go to this one, I received 2.7. So the percentage is going to be lower. So let's do that. Copy that one and put that into our percentage calculator. Paste that. Just make sure that that's right. 0.0027. Let's get rid of this one. And the fee for that, let's have a look, is you can see because it's on the same time and date uh, as this here. So 6.4. Copy that. Percentage calculator calculate 23% so got charged 3% difference in maintenance fees uh, within the space of a couple of days so what's going on there I thought oh maybe it has something to do with because I'm reinvesting you know I'm reinvesting my money every day so I'm getting more terahash um, which means obviously my fee is going up because they charge you if you remember correctly or if you're new to Hashflare, they charge you 0.0035 cent, if you like, American cent, uh, for every 10 giga hash for every 24 hours. So if you're upgrading and say you get an, like another tera hash, you're paying you know, an extra 35 cent, I believe, or $3.50 or whatever it is. You're paying more fee every day. But then I went back and had a look at my history since these these days here, I have not reinvested any money. So the amount of terahash on this whole page here is exactly the same. Um, if you actually reinvest some money, so if I go to the next page, when you reinvest money, it actually comes out here, reinvested in SHA-256, and you can see that your Bitcoin balance goes down. So as you can see here, I have not reinvested, I've not received any referral commissions, so the amount of terahash that I've received is exactly the same. So why is there a difference in bit, the uh, percentage, the maintenance fees? Um, let's do another one, just uh, for argument's sake, let's do, let's do this one here. So on the 20th, let's copy the uh, fee first. And I'm not saying that um, Hashflare are doing anything sneaky or snide because they are transparent with their fees um, and it is there in black and white for you to read. But I'll tell you what I believe it is in a second. 
Some of you may have figured this out from the beginning and you might be sitting there thinking, yeah, well, Glenn, duh, um, it's because of this, this, and this. But, so you can see there on that day, I got charged 24%. So the fees go up. Now, I've actually done this over um, lots of different transactions. I've gone back to the beginning when I very first started. Um, so this is when I very first set up my account. Uh, let's Just to show you, let's do one of these. So let's copy that, let's put that in a percentage calculator. Uh, because I wanted to get a feel for, you know, are the fees going up or down or um, is there a pattern to it? Because I couldn't understand it at first. But I think I've figured it out now. So, so you can see here, this is why when I first started, I believed that the percentage worked out to be roughly... Uh, 14 and a half percent. I mean this transaction here on a random date that I've just selected worked out to be 16 percent So I'm paying almost almost Double the fees today as I was two months ago So why is that so let's retract let's go back um, I was looking at these figures for a while and I was literally sitting there like this um, and my wife's saying to me, Glenn, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just working, saying, cow, I can't figure it out. They charge you a maintenance fee in dollar value every day. So just bear that in mind, in dollar value every day per 10 giga hashes for every 24 hour. They pay you out in Bitcoin. Now, they take, obviously, their fee in Bitcoin. So what that means is that you then have to go and work out how much um, these fees are in what they were worth in Bitcoin on that day, which obviously is very difficult to do going back in the past. Um, I'm sure you could if you tried hard enough, but let's let's do this um, based on today. So if they were doing something dodgy, I should be paying more than what this works out to be. So let's just do a quick calculation because we know how much terahash I got. I have got, um, if we go to my dashboard, 21.43 terahash, which actually, if you're working out per gigahash, per 10 gigahashes, so we'll do, let's do it on this calculator, 21.43 uh, zero, so that's how many gigahashes I've got. We're going to divide that by 10 because it's per 10 giga hashes. Uh, so that's how many giga hashes worth I'd have to pay for every day. Uh, times that by 0 0.0035 works out that I'm paying $7.50 in fees per day in US dollar terms. So let's go back to my dashboard here. Let's go to my history. Let's go to say this was yesterday's um, fee. Obviously, that's the closest thing I've got. Bearing in mind, Bitcoin has changed in price today. Uh, it's gone down 10%, I believe. BTC to USD. So this price is going to be what it is now, what not what it was yesterday. So it's saying that. That is 6.72. So this got me thinking, tomorrow, if the Bitcoin price stays the same, it was worth about 11,500, now it's worth 10,500. Um, so that's actually gone down, which means that the amount of fee they are going to work out still has to equivalent to $7.50 cent, uh, $7.50. Um, but they're going to obviously equate that. So if I, tomorrow then, I should get charged really. Uh, let's work out the other way. $7.50 USD to BTC. Tomorrow really, I should be paying 0 .0 .0 .0 0721 um, Because the price of Bitcoin has gone up. Now I've uh, gone down, sorry. So the more the Bitcoin goes down in price, the more Bitcoin they take as a fee because they're working their fee out in US 
dollar equivalent every single day. So this is where obviously the difference in percentages are. So when you're doing coin wars and putting in here, oh yeah, I've got um, 21, 4, 3, oh, so that's how much Terra Hash I got. We're putting in zero power costs. You can't really work out the fees. Um, you can do a guesstimate, but as we see, one one day I paid 16%. So yesterday I paid 20, what was it, 26 or 28%. And this got me thinking, well, you can't, how do I work out, you know, do I put 30% just in case it goes down again tomorrow? Um, hardware costs, obviously we know that, that's always stayed the same. Uh, the actual price of Bitcoin, they always seem to up that for some reason. Um, I think that's what it was just now. So if we calculate that, really that's what I should be earning a day after they take their fee out. But then this seems too low because if we go back to what I've actually got, um, it says here I should be earning $25 uh, a day equivalent worth of Bitcoin. Um, but this says after the fee, I should be earning $17, which is about seven, eight dollars difference. That's quite a big difference. Um, but I suppose that works out about right actually because they're going to charge me, remember, $7.50. So that's about right, I suppose. That's what you're going to be earning a day. So, yeah, it's really, um, it's, it's really confusing from the outset um, because they word it on their homepage. Now, if you actually work it out this way, because I was working out, well, potentially, what could the percentage go up to? And if the if the Bitcoin price lowered so much that, say, it equivalated to the two dollar twenty, or I don't know how I'm trying to word that, but um, let's work out. You're paying. Uh, I'm paying twenty one. Four three times naught point naught naught three five, so seven dollar fifty. I don't know why I needed to work that out again. Um, so let's work out percentage wise. Seven, no, 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 no. I'm doing that wrong. Sorry. We're gonna do naught point naught naught three five because that's their minimum fee. So if you come along and you bought a hash flare contract for $2.20, that would last you one whole year, 12 months. They would charge you that fee every single day, yeah? In Bitcoin value per 10 giga hashes, but obviously you've only just bought 10 giga hashes. So how do we work out what the percentage potentially could be? Let's get rid of these numbers here. That's what they're going to charge you every day. Technically, uh, you've paid $2.20 for the whole year. So let's divide that by 365. That's 0 0.00602. So let's see if I can copy that number. No. There we go. So let's calculate that. So that's technically what your $2.50 divided by every day of the year is, and that is what their fee is. So let's calculate that. 58% potentially. The only reason that it's not that high is because they're taking it out in Bitcoin, and obviously the price of Bitcoin is higher. So when they take their fee out, they're working out $7.50, for me anyway, for my case scenario, they're working out, or let's say for this example, you're using $2.20 every single day for those 12 months, so for 365 days. They're working out what 0 0.0035 is in Bitcoin value. Um, and depending on what the price of Bitcoin is that day, your profit is either going to be higher or lower, if you see what I mean. So um, the lower the price of Bitcoin goes regardless of difficulty. So a lot of people say, oh, 
hash flare is not that profitable because um, because difficulty goes up, um, which actually I'll show you a website in a minute that I've got up for that. Regardless of that, even if the difficulty just stayed as it was for 12 months, if the price of Bitcoin goes down, the fee that you're paying for your terahashes stays exactly the same. So this is your fee that you're paying every day. This is the price of Bitcoin. Obviously, if price of Bitcoin goes down, at some point they'll cancel each other out. So actually you'll be mining nothing. Um, you would need Bitcoin to go back up to have a difference um, and actually accumulate Bitcoin. So, <coughs> to me, that is something that you really want to bear in mind and you really want to take into account when deciding whether to do uh, mining or not. Now, this uh, might, like I say, people that are into Bitcoin mining might say, Glenn, we've known this for years, you know, you're just catching on, but I am new to this, so I am learning and there's no one teaching me. I have... I don't go to any lessons or tuition. I'm just learning as I go along. This would happen if I bought an S9 myself. Um, you know, the the pool fees that you pay, I believe they're in a percentage of how much Bitcoin you do. So it's a bit fairer, I suppose. But obviously the cost of the equipment um, and the electricity cost, the amount of electricity that you pay every day, you know, the electricity company are not going to say, oh, well, Bitcoin's gone down in price, let's charge them less for electricity. They're going to charge you the same. So the amount of electricity that you pay every day is going to stay the same. If the price of Bitcoin goes down, they're going to cancel each other out. So then it becomes obviously not profitable to do so. So um, my theory, obviously, I've always said I don't really care if the price of Bitcoin goes down because... I just want to accumulate Bitcoin. Um, you know, the amount of Bitcoin that I have, I want it to go up. So this got me thinking, well, actually, the amount of Bitcoin that I'm accumulating every day is actually going down. Because if I'm accumulating 0.0024 every day, and say the price of Bitcoin goes down and that equates to 10 US dollars, the price of their fee in Bitcoin value stays exactly the same. So that there is a high, you know, a chance that these two could meet each other and then they wouldn't be paying you anything. You'd be getting, I'd have 21 terahashes of power and it would be earning me, you know, not enough to cover the maintenance fee. So then you're paying 100%, you know, so it's, it is very difficult to actually work out. So it's very misleading, um, to use uh, what's that coin wars it's a good reference point I suppose and it's not coin wars fault obviously at all because if you were just doing mining yourself at home then yes this is a good website um, you would just put in say one or two percent pool fees you would put in how much electricity costs you've got and as long as those things all stay the same then it would calculate for you how much you're going to be earning but obviously with cloud mining, uh, the fee that you're paying is a lot higher than as if you were doing it at home because you've got no electricity and you know the uh, you ain't got to worry about the pool fees, I suppose, um, and the really the maintenance cost of the equipment. But obviously this means that hash flare are always covered because even if the price of Bitcoin plummets, you know, and goes down to I don't know, three thousand dollars per Bitcoin they're still going to be receiving your, you know, for me, $7.50 worth of maintenance fees every day. Um, and if the amount of Bitcoin that I've got only just covers that, I'm only just covering the maintenance fee, that's never going to go down. Um, the amount of coin they're going to want, obviously the $7.50 per in converted into Bitcoin is going to be a lot higher. So, um, that's something to bear in mind, guys. I'm not trying to put people off from cloud mining. It's just saying that I've realized today. Um, Anton also Anton also uh, pointed me into the right direction of this website called mycryptobuddy.com. So I've gone onto this website, and at first I didn't understand it. So I've spent a bit of time this evening with it. 
Uh, same as the uh, Coin Wars one, you put in how much Terra hashes you've got. So I've got 21.43. That's the current difficulty, which let's have a little look compared to. Yeah, looks about the same. Um, block reward 12.5. Bitcoin price, their one, I haven't put that in. That's what they said it was. So actually, that's quite precise because if we look at it right now, yeah, it's about, it's like $30 out. But obviously, I created, uh, I haven't refreshed this page. Power cost zero, power cost zero, pool fees percentage. Now, I've missed that one out, actually, and I'll show you in the, why in a second. It says rejection rate, 1%. I don't know what that means. That's, again, that's saying I've got to learn. Um, and then when you actually go down, it tells you what you have earned. And again, these are very similar to Coin Wars, so obviously their math calculations are pretty much the same. Um, it says I'm going to earn $17 a day. Um that's based on the Bitcoin price today, the difficulty. Um, obviously, I've put nothing in for the pool fees. So really, there's a fee to come off that after. So their projections, I suppose, will be a bit lower. When you go down to long-term projections, um, you put in your hardware costs, which obviously I've spent 1650 of my own money. Recurring costs. Now, I've put 225 And the reason for that is because I've done my $7.50 times 30 days comes to 225 so they're going to charge me in US dollars seven seven dollars fifty regardless of what Bitcoin's worth so I thought it was only fair if instead of a pool fee percentage which would always give you a wrong figure I put in a recurring cost of two hundred and twenty five dollars a month uh, price change again. This is really tricky. So I've based this on the price of Bitcoin stand exactly as it is. So by January next year, if Bitcoin was still worth ten thousand and five hundred, um, what would I be doing with the coins? Will I be selling them at a monthly profit? It's, it's quite in depth. This website actually. I've put never sell Bitcoin, so I'm going to I'm going to store them, um, and it also takes into account, which is a lot of people's argument. You're not taking into account difficulty going up. This actually, you can put in a figure if you want, but this is what they estimate that the rough um, difficulty change is going to be. So they're increasing the difficulty by 15.92% every month. <coughs> I believe that um, the Bitcoin difficulty goes up or down depending on the price of Bitcoin and how much it's being mined. So if people are finding Bitcoin not as profitable, they'll switch to saying Kels, which means that the difficulty may go down, actually. But let's just base it on average that it's going to go up 15%, which these guys have worked out. So this creates a chart, and this is total profit. So obviously, I'm starting off as day one. They've worked out that uh, I'm going to be obviously minus 1650 because that's what I've spent on day one for the hardware equipment. Then after that, I'm only going to be minus 1,113. Then a month after that, minus 600, 300. And now, once I get past this zero, I'm actually running at a profit. So um, US dollar-wise, you can see here that it goes up. Now, it actually curves round. So you can see here that it's actually starting to creep back down again. The amount of profit I'm earning is going down. And that's because we have calculated that the price of Bitcoin stand is exactly the same, but the difficulty continuously going up. So actually the amount of Bitcoin that you're going to accumulate, and obviously uh, sell for US dollars worth wise, uh, is going gonna, is gonna to stay the same and the difficulty is going to go up. So if we put in here that we think the price is going to go, what should we say, go up 10% every month. So that means in month one it will be worth from now, it would be worth uh, 11,500, um, then it will go up to 13,000, then it will go up to, you know, and it will go up like that. So let's base it with 15% a month. Um, now you can see the graph is showing that after two months, I've pretty much broken even and I start earning profit a lot quicker because obviously the price of Bitcoin's gone up. And then we see this nice streak of profit going up. 
Um, and you can see there that I think it's worked out that I'll be earning twenty thousand dollars. Is that twenty thousand? I think that is uh, worth a profit um, per year. So this is a really good website, guys. I'm actually going to link this in the description below. Thank you to Anton for um, recommending it. I hope that's explained a bit about the um, hash flare fees a bit clearer. Remember, they charge you US dollars worth of Bitcoin every day. So depending on the price of Bitcoin on that day, your fee is going to be higher or lower. Um, and obviously, the amount of Bitcoin they're taking out of your Bitcoin, the higher that is, that means the price of Bitcoin has gone down. Uh, which one that means you're mining less and like you're mining less US dollars, I suppose, worth of Bitcoin. But then they're taking out their more Bitcoin to cover that seven dollar fifty. So it's I've always said that, you know, hash flare is a at the moment a triple triple whammy of uh you know less profitable than it was before when I first started. And that's because the price of their Mining went up, the price of Bitcoin went down, the difficulty went up. Um, so the amount of US dollars worth of Bitcoin that I was getting was a lot lower than when I first started. Um, but obviously now I've worked out that if the price of Bitcoin goes down, not only am I receiving less US dollars worth of Bitcoin, I'm receiving less Bitcoin because their fee that they're going to take out worth of Bitcoin is going to be higher. I hope that makes sense. I hope I haven't confused a load of you. I'm going to um, put this this, uh, this website in the description down below. Please comment uh, if you think that I've worked anything out wrong. If uh, if you want to call me out on anything. Um, I've always said that you know I'll try and be as honest as I can with you guys. And it would be... It would be more beneficial to me to create videos that just say, oh, use Hashflare, use Hashflare, they're so good. Um, you know, look how much money I'm making from Hashflare every year. It would be more beneficial for me to do that because the more of you that use my link down below, um, the more of you I get referral bonus for, which is on this page here. So you can see I, I've received referral commission from 12 people. I think one or two of them are my friends, actually. Um, so it would be more beneficial for me to do videos like that. And if you want to see that sort of thing, there's loads of YouTube videos out there that do it. Um, that big hash flare up just constantly. Oh, they're so transparent. They're so good. You know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not here to say they're not. Um, I'm just here to say, look, if you're thinking of getting into this space... You should be really aware of what the fees are and what actually you're going to walk away with in your pocket in terms of how much Bitcoin every single day uh, because it is quite misleading the fact that on their page, not that I suppose they've done anything wrong because it would be too hard for them to work out. I mean, they could have probably put on there uh, $35, but 30, sorry, 0.005 cent um, and then putting it worth of Bitcoin each day because then I would have probably clocked on a lot quicker um, that that figure is going to change depending on the price of Bitcoin so my fault I suppose for missing that um, you may have missed it if you have comment down below I'd love to hear your thoughts it's just saying that's really been playing on my mind for the last two days I've been really thinking why are the why are the fees so different so drastically up or down and how how did crypto nick work out that the fees were 18 percent and i've worked them out to be 15 percent and this other guy on youtube's worked it out to be 19 percent how are we getting all these different figures when the price is right there in your face and it's because the price of bitcoin goes up or down every day and the the pro the amount of bitcoin they want to cover their fee which is fixed every day so that's where the difference is i hope that's made sense if you like this content please subscribe to my channel and uh, there's a little uh, coin here that you can click on 
or click down below where it says subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it's helped you understand the um, hash flare fees. There's probably a lot of other videos out there that explain this. Um, not that I've seen many of them, to be honest. Um, if you actually go on YouTube, either people have just copy and pasted this figure here, um, but they've forgotten to include that they take it out in Bitcoin, and the, high, the lower the Bitcoin price goes down, uh, the less Bitcoin you're going to be mining every day. So just bear that in mind. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video of Bitcoin. Bye, guys.